Hey guys, welcome back to Brunette Confessions. Today I am going to be doing two product reviews for two self tanners that I have been loving. So let's jump to it. So this body, this skin has not seen the sun or the beach. Well, I did see the beach not too long ago, but it was cloudy, so I didn't get much of a tan. And it's been looking a little bit extra white. And I don't know what it is about a self-tanner that makes you feel 0 to 100 very quick. And it just makes you feel and look so pretty. And it makes your body look just so nice and toned. And, and I don't know. I don't know what it is, but I lately have been, been able to live without damn tan. So, I have been using these two products here. One is a mousse base and the other one is like a cream base. Before trying these, I was using one that I would use, I would do like once in a blue moon. I did a review on it a while back, I think a few years ago or something. It was called Body by Drench, Body Drench or something like that. I'll post it around here. And that one was a hassle to put on because it was like spray and it was i wasn't able to do it by myself my mom always had to help me and it made the biggest mess on the tub all the damn time so i looked for other alternatives and these are the ones that i have tried now let's start with my actually let me start with jerkins so i'm gonna start with the jerkins this one i've before i purchased this i did see a lot of reviews online and they was really good reviews too so i was like okay let me try it I buy it at Target, but I think you could find it in any drugstore, even probably Publix. I think they have it everywhere. So this one is a Jergens Natural Glow. They have two colors. They have this one, and they have one for like more fair skin. This one is medium to tan skin tone, so I think there's only two. The other one's like fair or something, so it's a little bit lighter. This, let me tell you how it smells so good. I don't know, self tanners tend to have like a hint of like the the chemical that makes your skin um give the color the bronze color or whatever i don't know why that chemical in every product smells bad like it has a very strong order to me it smells like burnt popcorn i don't know why but it smells like burnt popcorn like i didn't even have to like would have to like sniff my skin like even just like be normal still whatever like i could smell the room around me when I would use the body drench one and it had that chemical well they all have that chemical but that one like the smell is very strong so then this one oh and it would smell like burnt popcorn would last like that smell would last throughout like the whole time that I had a damn tan I don't know why but the smell the odor was just very strong but this one it smells so good like you don't even think that this is a cell tanner it smells really 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 good um, and it's very creamy so your skin feels very hydrated when you use this usually I would I do it um before bed but I do well I'll give it like an hour before bed so I can give my skin time to like suck the product in and dry up because it, since it is very creamy you're gonna be a little bit you know like wet like oily and you don't want to mess up your sheets you're still gonna not mess up your sheets but you're, you're most likely gonna stain them either way but it's better to let the skin um, dry it up just in case you go to bed and you rub a part off in the area or something. So then you're going to be stuck with like a white mark. Another thing that I didn't like about, well, yeah, thing that I did not like about it is that I use um, my palms, my hands to like rub it in or whatever. You have to wash it very good. Wash your hands after very good or your palm of your hands are going to be orange and they're going to stay orange for quite a while give it like a week but they're gonna stay orange so make sure after you use this or any self tanner in general that you have to use your palms to spread it around make sure to like wash your hands after very very good not just once multiple times because you're gonna have orange palms now um so this one the color that it gives me it gives me a little bit towards the orangey side but it's not like an orange that you that like bothers me it's not an orange that you can tell like i look like a not an oompa loompa yeah not an orange that you're gonna look like an oompa loompa but it is more of an orangey side and not of like the bronzy side if that makes sense so that's what i don't like about it but i still do like it because my skin does feel hydrated and oh yeah it says it has vitamins and antioxidants so that's good 
daily moisturizer or whatever. Um, so this is sort of like a like a tinted moisturizer is what I'll say this is. But it does give you color and it does look nice and it spreads fairly evenly. Um, and when you're losing the tan itself, it could be a little bit spotty in areas, but easy, you can take it off. I have on the gloves or like a scrub, like a body scrub, it's like gloves are like a little bit rough. So I just put those gloves on, soap with like a like a like bar soap. Got the, the soap really good, whatever, and then just rub your skin hard. Shh, my legs. I'm doing it like if it's my legs. So just like rub it really hard. Let's say I have the gloves on. Da -da -da -da. And then you'll see with the water that the orange, the pigment is like falling off. So it's fairly easy to take off. Especially like once it's been there already for a few days, it's easier to take off. Um, so yeah, and this one I don't I don't think I have used it. Yeah, I probably have used it in my whole body. Yeah, I've used it in my whole body. I was gonna say well, I've only used it in my legs, but now I've used it in the whole body. Also, make sure when you do um, self tanners to put moisturizer in like areas that you usually get like fairly dry, because if not, it's gonna look weird. The next one that I have been loving is loving tan. This has become my favorite and definitely my go-to. Now, this is a two-hour express one, but I leave this shit on for the whole night. Now, this gives you the color. I'll say, okay, let me back backtrack that. So, this is two-hour express, so you're supposed to leave it on for two hours or whatever, and then you're supposed to get the color, but I put it on before bed. I dry it off a little bit, of course, and then go to bed, and I take it off the next morning. And sometimes the next morning, if I can, like, shower, I'll just walk around with the tan on or whatever because it doesn't even feel sticky or anything and um the morning after you have it i mean the longer you have it on the more color you're gonna get obviously so the morning after it is a little bit orangey but not super orangey it's, it's very bronzy i feel like once you shower off that first layer the color that you stay in your skin is super nice like i have it on right now and i feel like it just looks so good i love it I think it looks very nice and it looks very natural that's what I like about it too and it does not have the strong order of burnt popcorn so that is good and it's so easy to spread and to put on and I bought the the, the mitten from Lumington as well spreads and helps put everything equal because the palm of my hands obviously if I were to use it I was gonna have it was gonna you know come out like marked with the product so I decided to buy the, the mitten and it works it works wonders. I don't have to stress about my hands getting marked or whatever. Um, so yeah, I've really been, been liking this one. I like to do two layers. So let's say I did um, the tan on Wednesday. I do it again on Thursday and I like um, the, how the two layers look. I feel like one layer is not dark enough for my taste. Two layers, perfect three i don't know because i haven't tried it yet but i will you know once i do um but two layers i feel like it gives me the color that i seek the color that i like and yeah what else can i say about this one? Oh, it dries up very quick um also the good thing about two layers is that let's say your first layer you just usually happens to me um i put it here but i forget like this part so then you have like a straight line of orange and then white so you in the second layer you'll be able to um, make it all equal and see like any parts that you miss or any parts that are not dark enough so the second layer you can you know make the color equal and pass it over again and yeah so I know that Loving Tan has a bunch of other products they have like the overnight one well not an overnight one but I think they have like some they're not two hour express that is you have to leave it on for a longer time period i haven't tried them yet but this one so far has been working super good i bought it at ulta and it says um the color is actually dark for medium to dark skin tones so fire um this mitten i think it was on the pricey side i'll say like 30 maybe not sure oh Look that up and let y'all know. This product is more expensive than the Jergens for a fact because this isn't a drugstore. Um, price, I don't want to say it's more than 20 but I'm not sure. I will find that out for you guys. And this one's like, I think, 40 but I'm not sure. I will let you know. And yeah, so if you guys, um, both are fairly easy as well to apply, so I don't know if I mentioned that already. 
but if I haven't, I'm telling you now. And it's easy, like, you could do it yourself. You don't need anybody to help you. Maybe to cut, like, get, like, a, a part in your back or something, like a hard-to-reach area, that would be nice. I had to do it myself and just, like, try to figure it out. But with the mitten, it's, um, it's actually very, fairly easy to do, right? Yeah. Yeah, fairly easy. Hmm. Just gotta figure out how to do it. Another thing about Loving Tan is that it does last fairly long as well, but make sure after you finish off the layers that you want um make sure you moisturize a lot because it can dry out your skin a lot since this is not a moisturizer this is a straight up self tanner so your skin can get fairly dry so make sure you moisturize after a lot a lot a lot a lot a lot it's not gonna make your tan go away it's gonna help your skin maybe you help it like even prolong the color so yeah moisturize well guys, that is all for this video. If you guys have any questions about these products, I'll be happy to answer them down below. I wish I had pictures, but I always forget to take damn pics about, you know, before and after, but whatever. This is the after of Loving Tan, if anything. <laughs> um, so yeah, guys, I hope this video was helpful. So don't forget to subscribe and like this video. See you guys next time. Bye.